I'd like to acknowledge that we are on the unceded territory of the Squamish and the Tsleil-Waututh Nations and thank them so much for their generosity of spirit as we move together in journey in community. Welcome to the 18th annual Anonymous Art Show. We're very excited this year about all the different artists from all the different walks of life that we've got participating. It's a real intergenerational year. We have 125 new artists that have joined us this year. So we're really, really pumped about the stories that are being told about this very challenging year on the walls of Cityscape Community Art Space. Selling art itself is something that's pretty new to me, so I'm excited for this. It is really nice to be able to participate in such an effort and yeah, see everyone's different inspirations come together in the same space. There's so much variety, there's so much color and different techniques, all the different subject matter too. We see everything from landscapes to animals to food. and It's so much fun to look. There are 740 works of art in this space this year. Every piece is $100. You don't know who the artist is until you buy the piece of work. The whole idea is that you're buying art for art's sake. That's why it's the Anonymous Art Show. Once the purchase is made, we reveal the artist to you and the rest of the audience. And then 50% of that purchase price goes to the artist and 50% goes to our organization to help support our ongoing programs throughout the year. And we hope that you can support us and the artists in our community. My name is Carissa. I am an artist. I like use many colors at stage program. STAGE is a program, a transition program for people with disabilities. They come in after high school and they learn vocational skills, life skills, social skills. We do art in many different forms at STAGE, which helps them to relax, to explore with colours and to express themselves. I like good colours. That's very beautiful. We've been doing this for about four years and we get so excited to see the artwork. It's a way for them to be professional and to showcase their work in a professional manner. I feel great. I'm so happy and proud of myself. It's my first time that I had my art in a gallery and it helped me to improve my art. Uh, in the future. This assignment was really interesting so I decided to participate in it and having my art in the gallery was really fun because then other people could see it and it makes me proud to see my art there. You know I was trying to uh, create an environment where the students are really experiencing exciting things and I thought you know having them participate in the anonymous art show would be uh, an a great experience for them. During the process I was learning things, uh, learning what to uh, get out of my ideas and what to put in. So I think it's very interesting because like I know about what art galleries do but I haven't experienced uh, being involved in, in an art gallery so I think it's cool to see what's going to happen in this uh, in the Anonymous Art Show. I think it's a, a wonderful opportunity for allowing professional artists and amateur artists and student artists and any artists to, you know, to be able to put their work in a show like this. It's just an eyeful. It's, it's wonderful to, to come here and, and look at everything. Galleries tend to kind of keep it close to professional artists and this just opens up the world. Look at it, it's amazing how it has grown to, I mean it was always so full. I think we don't have enough balls for the number of people who like to, you know, participate. I think this is the third time of, um, of myself doing it. I think it's their second time. Okay, my son's first time, my daughter's second time. When you're creative it's very tempting just to isolate yourself and not take into consideration who your audience might be in that so that this, at an early age I want them to kind of understand it's just a, kind of a dialogue between you and the viewer. 
knowing that my art is actually good and appreciated, it feels good, and people actually like my art, I think feels good. I went famous. Yes, I went famous. Yeah, amazing masterpiece is Cookie Stupers. Me. And that amazing painting I've seen. Yeah. Like, like a cherry painting goes famous painter. Yes. Exhilarating to get them out doing it at this age, because I never exhibited work till way later on. And was completely unaware or unskilled on that side of creation. It's all about storytelling and look at all the different stories that we're looking at here. I mean, it's remarkable. Go to our website, northanarts.ca, November 25th, 7 p.m., the sales will open. We have a preview week that starts November 20th that you can come to Cityscape or look online. Nothing's for sale. And then as of 7 p.m. on November 25th, it's available online only for purchase. I, I would highly recommend if you find a piece you like that you should log in at 7 o'clock and go. And then we'll keep the sales alive online until December 18th. Last year, we ended up with people right across Canada buying because of the online access. So we had people from New Brunswick that purchased anonymous artwork from here in little old North Vancouver and we shipped it across Canada to them. So the accessibility, the inclusion, the equity that was created by going online I think was really important and we're really happy about maintaining that this year. And we're just hoping that you can share this with friends and family and so that they can learn more about the Anonymous Art Show and we can welcome everybody to be able to have a beautiful piece of art on their wall because these make awesome gifts for your friends, family, and for yourself.